recently been discovered that the human papilloma virus, a sexually transmitted disease, could cause up to 70% of cervical cancer cases. A new vaccine, Gardasil, has been released to protect against HPV and prevent cervical cancer. Though this vaccine could save many lives, some fear that vaccinating young girls will send the wrong message about sexual activity. Simone Berger reports. Doctors, parents, and teenagers are all concerned with the effects of the human papilloma virus. Medical professionals describe how they think the vaccine will affect society. The Gardasil vaccine is a vaccine to prevent HPV or human papilloma virus. It works just like other vaccines into stimulating your body to produce antibodies. So then if you are presented with the intact vaccine, your antibodies are already there ready to attack it and prevent you from contracting the illness. If we have um, generalized use of the vaccine, we should decrease the incidence of cervical cancer by a great deal. Well, any kind of vaccination to prevent, even if we can prevent 50% of the disease, it's beneficial. While the advantages of the vaccine are clear, some teenagers think that certain implications outweigh the benefits. Well, I don't agree with it at all, really, because it's like getting this vaccine kind of says it's okay to have premarital sex. If it supposedly um, gives them idea that it's okay to have um, sex before um, marriage, then it's not exactly all that um, not appropriate, I guess. Students' concerns about the virus are increasing as they become more aware of its consequences. It is true that just kind of giving them the vaccine is quicker than educating them about unprotected sex. So young girls may not understand the consequences, so I don't think it's appropriate. There's 10,000 new cases of cervical cancer every year and 4,000 deaths every year. So this, the implications of using the HPV vaccine can be um, great. Despite all the risks, some teenagers will ignore the warning. I don't think that adolescents and young adults are really concerned about HPV. So having a vaccine to prevent the disease will not really alter their sexual activity, won't promote early sexual activity. If they want to have premarital sex or not, it's their decision. I mean, I'm sure there are girls that, despite that risk, will go out and have sex. I guess teenagers are going to do whatever they want to do anyway, so it's better to have a certain kind of protection than not to have the protection. Simone Berger, Fox 13 Magazine.